Chen's finances exposed, secret details of her family's eye-watering wealth laid bare. Queen Elizabeth II's immense wealth has been revealed as the head of monarch's multiple streams of income highlight her impressive portfolio. Royal finance expert and author David McClurd argued it was difficult to judge exactly how much Queen Elizabeth II is worth. However, during an interview with Express.ko.uk, Mr. McClurd claimed it can be estimated how much money the Queen has based on her multiple income streams. Mr. McClure's upcoming book, The Queen's True Work, is set to be released in September and explored in more details the many ways the Queen generates income. He said, There's an enormous amount of secrecy surrounding the Queen's wealth, so you cannot make definitive statements about it. One thing that is clearly visible is what comes from the private estate the ancestral state of the Duchy of Lancaster. Those profits have been enormously since she came to the throne. Just in the last 20 years, the year 2000, profits from this portfolio of land have gone up from £6.2 million in the year 2000 to this year of £23.2 million. That is quite a big jump in just 20 years. One area that is clearly grown in income is the money from the judgey, but there are other sources of money. Mr. McClurd went into more details about what other things contribute to the Queen's overall wealth. He said, There are things like gifts, the value of her private country estates, Bomorrow and Sandringham. The Queen has been on the throne close to 70 years, and the value of that land, particularly with explosion of land values 15 20 years ago, that has gone up enormously. Just by longevity of these income streams have increased immeasurably in the 60 to 70 years since the Queen has been on the throne. Despite the impressive portfolio, the Queen and the entire monarchy has suffered due to the coronavirus crisis. Mr. McClurd warned the monarchy may start looking at more ways to cut costs going forward. He said, it is going to be difficult as there is already talk of job cuts at the palace and beef eaters at the Tower of London being made redundant. On the public expenditure, expenditure level, it is clearly going to eat away at them. On a broader level, if the royal family really wanted to cut costs, the best way to cut costs is to have fewer working royals. There has long been a debate on when Prince Charles becomes king, whether we are going to have a streamlined monarchy.